Want to know something funny? The more you read Jennifer Bonzine's defense in setting up for this new trial and delaying this sentence, it should be very obvious the information that has been on my platform for the entire three years, in which I made very clear there were individuals brought out here to keep you all confused and bickering over all the irrelevant points that make no sense and avoid looking at the individuals and the plays being played out right in your face. We truthfully we did our job. We brought the information to the public. Surviving R. Kelly went off. We kept that shit going. We got bus drivers. We got police officers. We got assistants. We got friends. We got people to lie. We got the storage. We got motherfucking video, audio. We got the storage. We got motherfucking video, audio. You have seen Asriel at my house. You have seen parents at my house. Clearly, the difference between me and most is I don't have the time nor patience to sit here and try to push my opinions and observations onto individuals. What I will do is replay back some of the images that have been on public display that went on right in your face that people wanted to selectively ignore while they pick the certain allegations they wanted to run with, pick the certain individuals they wanted to link up with, and spend more time diverting your attention from information that could cause you to see the simple point that I display on my channel, and that is the abundance of people feeling the need at this point in time to come out and keep these narratives going and i watch this case being manufactured in our face and i see these people on youtube linking up with key individual people some who have contacted me in the background and some that are just an example to the crash dummies in the industry that are fueling these narratives instead of doing their own research to validate the facts. At this point, if you still can't realize why people can't stay on topic and why other individuals choose not to even speak on the topic, I want you to just take a good look around YouTube and how, as I stated long time ago, all these allegations were fueled by the savages who brought out the Clarys, who since that very moment began to keep these narratives rolling, keep going back and forth online. And then when they were put in the hot seat, they wanted to redirect the energy and blame Lifetime, Me Too, Dream Hampton, and all these people for giving they dumbass the platform to lie. But at the end of the day, if you paid attention to the nuggets that I drop on my platform, it'd be clear as day why, again, a lot of these people are not credible in my eyes. So anyone taking offense to the fact that you can't just bring me janky ass narratives you can't link up with individuals i believe are criminally conspiring against an individual you will have to realize you can have a tall glass of shut the fuck up because your opinion means shit over here okay the main person driving the narratives going back and forth with these individuals why all these bullshit ass People with their opinions want to link up with the very people who helped nail this man's fate. So it just perplexes me how I'm supposed to give credit to individuals that obviously are working with the narratives to make this man look guilty instead of giving him his due process, as they say. The fuck? Each other 
as black people. Y'all see, for fame and fortune. <laughs> Now clearly we watch these star players tell us all these individuals who got them all riled up and skip around. They had no problem with this man having a relationship with their daughter until they felt some type of way. Then they brought their personal problems to the public and created such a circus that after they exposed each other, they then had to figure out how to keep people distracted, huh? In reviewing my content, you will notice the very moment, just like with any other platform speaking on the topic at hand. Soon as you start hitting certain points, individuals pop up out the woodworks and want to bring your attention to everything except the information that will lead you to believe there is a whole lot going on that is behind the scenes that I don't feel like is involving this man, however, involves these individuals who have defrauded this man his whole career. So let's address the elephant in the room nobody wants to talk about. Because regardless of how you feel about this man, everything that I have documented will begin to make sense when you read the defense and the things that have been alleged when it comes to the interference with this previous defense team not only that the stages that were pulled off right in front of us to get these individuals to cooperate yeah nigga whatever yeah bitch whatever yeah i am yo can i with you what ACP, do you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. Just take the phone. Look. You got some weed? Hey. You gotta get some. All right, hurry up. These are them here, everybody here. We waiting on you. All right. <laughs> That's really that. what it is. I, I, I have not that got that no is. money. That's right. I haven't gotten fucking right. paid. I did that this that for my fucking fans. Can't hit 30 fucking hours. Ran out of gas, but still made it here on time. Right. And they tell me I ain't got my money. Right. Well, I can't do that. I just, I've been fucked before too many times right. in the past. I got to make example out of these characters, man. You got my shit? Yeah. God damn, right. man. I got it. Okay. So we can do it when you leave. Yeah, but y'all try to set up a show, another show. Come to Arizona to make this shit up to my fans. I'm gonna make this shit up to my fans for the for the promoters fucking up today. They right. didn't give me my money. What more am I do? Right. I didn't get paid. Now, now he everything that all the expenses got to come out of his pocket and he ain't get a dime. dime. Exactly. And man. I tell him. Let's go. Twenty six people here. Absolutely. Twenty six yeah. people here to I make this you. show happen. Yep. I got you. Uh, so uh, I do believe that cause initially I was talking to Angelo Caleri and I was talking to Tim Savage in the very beginning because. One of the things that me and that, that I felt was important to do was get everybody at the table so we can mediate this thing. Let's let's you know sit down, let's work this thing out, so we can get the girls back home, at least get the, the families involved in their lives in some capacity. And we were planning on doing it around the holidays, and it just always turned into a fucking production. There had to be some music being made, an album going to be put out, and I'm like, listen. I call it. Let's just get everybody back together, get it. Then we can work on that shit, you know. And the only person that seemed to, I be have a, any kind of conversation, decent conversation, with initially, was Angelo Clary. Now, most of it was probably him probing the shit out of me, but I was doing the same thing to him. So, you know, um, but you know, for for the most part, it, it seemed like it could be handled amicably. Uh, I don't know what's up with Don. I'm going to call Don. Yo, I got Don personal number. I'm going to call him. Now, according to Azrael Clary's own words, she had been working on her music for years and was in a happy place. Yet all these people on YouTube just expected me to keep running with certain narratives, including the fact everything was okay until they realized they weren't going to get a song from this man instead of realizing we should have been driving home how they have obviously stalked this man 
for such a long period of time, even Clary himself telling us he forced his daughter to sing R. Kelly in the first place. So what should that tell you? When all these people started to call these janky ass parents out, people found it necessary to provoke them to keep coming out clearing their names and doing the most when clearly I've shown you there was a variety of different factors that made these individuals cooperate including Azriel. Think back to those articles implicating them saying they would be prosecuted and then individuals within this inner camp running off with their so-called allowance. Just make it make sense when you follow these narratives of these clowns on YouTube that don't want to address the elephant in the room, as they say. Clearly, those following my content will notice the very moment that drove Cass Jones to me and how I applied it to the whole scenario and letting you know how easy it was to infiltrate this man's so-called inner circle. So as you review these claims made by his new defense and how the government obviously tried to tie the misdeeds of this alleged inner circle to Robert Kelly and obviously failed to do so, my position is the same as it's been from day one. Hold the people accountable for the crimes they committed. Otherwise, Watching all this corruption play out on all these platforms, including evidence being passed around, is obviously a violation. So when we think about this upcoming trial in Chicago, and we think about this accuser, Geronda Pace, for example, who doesn't even want to continue participating... Most people would continue to push out the facts about this corruption instead of obviously trying to keep excusing their poor behavior choices, desperately trying to provoke responses from individuals who clearly don't give two shits about their opinion or any excuse they have to avoid taking responsibility that, as I said, with Lifetime, Sony, and anybody who gave these individuals the platform to violate this man's rights should be held accountable. Now, am I going to try to incite people to sue individuals and do all this extra goofy ass shit these other people like to do? Fuck no. I'm just going to keep putting the facts out there as I do. Let you validate the facts as you should and keep it pushing. Okay? Fuck you, you lying motherfucker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you some more. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. You are a dickhead. Lying back.